China, society. Government China was a single-party state, ruled by the Communist Party. The head of state was the chairman, equivalent to the United States president, with the last leader to hold this office being Chairman Chang. The government was divided into ministries. The only known one is the Chinese intelligence ministry, responsible for special operations on American soil. China used the yuan as currency, and Chinese notes were often considered a telltale sign of a Chinese infiltrator in America. The Chinese economy suffered throughout the war, to the point that strict rationing of resources was instituted, including food. The situation was so severe by 2077, that lotteries were used to allocate food rations to Chinese citizens. These could be manipulated by the government to reward faithful service. Like any sovereign state, China routinely maintained embassies in foreign nations. In spite of the war, the Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C. remained open, with Xu Ling serving as the last ambassador to the United States. China, Society, Military Main Article People's Liberation Army The People's Liberation Army relied on its vast reserves of manpower and industrial capacity to maintain its edge, though unlike the United States, the focus was put on firepower rather than personal protection. Chinese soldiers were issued jumpsuits rather than hard combat armor, though the Type 93 assault rifles that were the workhorse of the army were significantly more powerful than standard American R-91s. Tanks were key to the Chinese doctrine, used to support infantry operations during the invasion of Alaska. However, when they were countered by early power armor Americans deployed, China realized that it had no analog and rushed to create its own versions. Due to the handicap, it also intensively researched stealth technology as a counter. Beyond stealth, the Chinese had an extremely effective intelligence and security apparatus. Apart from concealing its research, Chinese operatives infiltrated mainland United States and set up an extensive covert network of spies and intelligence operatives. The largest of their spy networks were located in and around Washington, D.C., with strongholds throughout the region. China even managed to set up regular patrols by Chinese submarines, such as the SSN-37-1A. China, Society, Technology C. People's Liberation Army due to little success in creating a power armor of comparable performance, while their own version power armor was considered and saw some moderate development, Chinese researchers decided to focus their efforts elsewhere and managed to create practical active camouflage technology, commonly referred to as stealth technology. The development of Hei Gui stealth suits allowed for easy penetration of enemy lines. China's efforts continued apace and by 2075 was rumored to possess an entire fleet of stealth submarines, developed in the Shaanxi province, nicknamed the Ghost Fleet. The United States had little success in their own stealth projects. Various reverse engineering projects were undertaken. Big MT created stealth suits Mark I and Mark II based on technology from captured Chinese suits Robco focused on replicating the modulating stealth field. Robert Mayflower's Stealth Boy 3001 was a portable, personal stealth device with a limited lifespan that could be used by anyone without the need for a full bodysuit. Chinese research into improving their stealth tech never ceased, and the Fujiria intelligence base in Appalachia was on the cusp of a major upgrade in power efficiency for the stealth suit. The Great War interrupted the project, and it was eventually salvaged by Thomas Eckhart's enclave to create Stealth Boy Mark III's. The Mech Gauss minigun was designed by the Chinese. Atypical for an automatic weapon, it uses Gaussian technology in the form of multiple electromagnetic fields to fire 2mm EC ammunition at a rate of over 90,000 rounds per minute. China, Society, Sympathizers China, Society, Sympathizers separate from the infiltrated agents of the People's Liberation Army, China also had a network of spies and communist sympathizers in mainland America, having infiltrated the local civil society to spy on it while smuggling imported Chinese weapons. Such cells could be found in pre-war Pittsburgh, Old Olney and Point Lookout. In Appalachia, the secessionist militia known as the Free States was accused of being a communist movement by the U.S. government during the propaganda war between both groups. Even in 2277, Irving Chang was still sympathetic to the communist regime.